Blog Talk Radio. Good evening, everyone. This is me, Jonathan Alexander, and I'm here to host our show, Life, Laughter, Happiness. And today, I will have my co-host, Barbara, which will be on here soon. And because it's Friday, we have Psychic Dale here. Are you there, Dale? Yes, I am. Great. Wonderful. How are you doing, Dale? And how are you doing, Richard? I'm doing okay in this hot weather. I'm bored to death, but other than that, I'm fine. Where is Barbara? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure she knows. That she wouldn't miss a show on purpose. So, I mean, but she knows to call I know, in. but lately she's been doing this, you know. Well, it doesn't oh. matter. I mean, you know. Um, oh. The... You know, I was telling you right before the show that I went to see a doctor and how I was going to get. Is there a reason you don't like niacin? Yeah, I don't like the flush it gives me. Oh, you've taken it before yourself? Oh, years ago. But I haven't seen any improvement in cholesterol with niacin. I use my cholesterol pills, which is way better. Hmm. See, Have I always thought any? that I well, I will tell you. Uh, many years ago, I took I took my um, I was taking niacin, and um, when but I was also taking lithium. And when you take lithium for depression, you have to get a lot of blood work done. And uh, so one of the things they did was they uh, went and they got my blood work, and they also checked my cholesterol. Mm-hmm. And I think if I remember correctly, my father, he looked at my cholesterol level and he said, what's with this cholesterol level? That doesn't make any sense. He eat fettuccine all the time because it was so low that he couldn't understand it. He was, I mean, he just was, you know, my father is a retired doctor. So Uh he, um, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Well, why that, are you taking it? You shouldn't be taking it then if you're low. No, I mean, I don't know. Recently, when I've had my um, cholesterol checked, it is a little bit high. So, you what's, know, a li- what's a little high by you? I don't really remember. I know it was a little high, but I know that I took, you. I know that it's a B vitamin in, in, you know, is what it does. And, but I will tell you this, though, the, um, you know, there's a difference. The nurse that I talked to didn't like the idea that I, that I was taking it, but the doctor was okay with yeah, it. Yeah, because so I, it, you can overdose on niacin. That's why I don't like it if you take too much. Overdose on niacin? Yeah, if you take too much of it. I've read. Hmm. Well, I mean... So I... I, I yeah, it's not like you're going to die, but you can you can overdose on it. I would suggest you just take a cholesterol pill and not worry about it. Mm, wow. Okay. Well, first of well, all, you need to go to the doctor and find out what your cholesterol is. Which and then we're going to find there. out because he wrote me a prescription for some for some work. And I'm more than uh-huh. my. I'm not just going to get the shingles vaccine as well. Oh. Huh? I don't. I don't. I don't like shingles. Richard had shingles. I don't like shingles vaccine because hmm. I know a lot of people who have gotten shingles from the vaccine. Hmm. Oh wow! So I don't. I know my doctor even told me not to take it. So I, I just don't. The less medication, the better. I don't know if I would call vaccine a medicine, though. I mean, it, it's it's medicine. I I don't know medicine. I always associate with uh, antidepressant medicine and everything like that. Yeah, but you're taking sh- uh, shingle, which is uh, you know, it, it's very painful, and uh, a lot of people are not real happy with it. So. It's now, up to you. Barbara you do what you want. Here. How are you doing, Barbara? 
I'm doing great. Hello. I'm coming on five minutes late. Aloha. Aloha, Dale. Are you with a uh-huh. caller at this time? Hi. Uh, not right now. We haven't started the callers yet. Oh, well, what were you talking about that is painful, Dale? Uh, shingles, I, uh, shot. He, yeah, I'm, I saw shot. my doctor today, and they 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 wrote me a prescription to get a shingles vaccine because of my age. And um, also, mm-hmm. I told him I was going to be taking not, doctor. I was going to be taking niacin, and he knew about it, so he's okay with me taking niacin. I don't know if you've ever have you ever taken niacin, Barbara? No. Well. It's a vitamin that's supposed to lower your cholesterol, but it causes a temporary flushing, and people can oh. get a little intimidated by that. But in my yeah, opinion, yeah, but it also, if you read more on niacin, it doesn't really. Um, I've had people who take it who end up in the hospital because they take too much. So you got to be careful. Yes, you're well, better off but... just taking a. A cholesterol yeah. pill. And where were you, Barbara? Just, you know what? I had off because I'm a mom and my daughter has a lot of things, and I just had to do a drop off. And I kept looking at the clock to call in, and I don't know why that happened to me because I, I was yeah. here. I was here, and I'm like, looked at the clock, and I'm like, how did that happen? So it was just a little dumb, honest mistake. That's all. Yeah. Well, that's cool. During that drop off. Out. That yeah, happens all the time. The I eat dinner. I eat dinner before mm-hmm. <clears throat> I got on the show, and Richard got me a wonderful present of a headset so that I would sound clear. You do, Richard. That is so thoughtful of you. She does, she does sound clear. She really does. Yeah. Good job. Aloha, Richard. Good job. Yes. Aloha, Barbara. So that's great. Yeah. Then Barbara, <laughs> but I'm glad John I bought... is doing his help. Go ahead. I bought on his for his birthday, which is in August, the same as yours. I bought him uh, a navy jacket, and I showed it to him just to have him try it on, you know, so that if I had to return it, it was the right size, and he won't take it off. <laughs> really? He just keeps it on even yeah, in his uh, room? <laughs> he loves I'm it, huh? A, yeah, I'm sitting in an air know? conditioned room. <laughs> yes. How did you know he would love it so much, Dale? Because he likes anything that says Navy. Wow. So, well, uh, what did you see in the news lately that you want to talk about? Oh, mm. I was fascinated by Donald Trump's wife. Dropping Ivanka. Dead. Yes, I was like shocked. And then I go, God, that's scary. I know. I mean, there's not. No one was with her. And that is scary because I heard that cardiac arrest is quite, it's not, it's not fun. I mean, it's painful. She probably was trying to get down the stairs to call a doctor or go, who knows what she was doing. She was found on the stairs. That's so sad. And she was only 73. That's so young. I know. And I felt so bad for her. And he even said that she was like the greatest mother and wife, and uh, she held, she did a lot of his business, and he would talk to her every two weeks, and I just felt bad for her. <clears throat> I felt really bad. I feel mm-hmm. bad for her because that, she was really loved. I feel bad for yeah, her I think so. loved ones. I think she had, and she had three kids, and God knows how they're yeah. going to take it, you know? A lot of grandchildren that she could have enjoyed. Yeah, what's that? What about you in the news? What what's been uh, bugging you? Well, and that was what I was going to talk about. But what's bugging me personally? Hmm, nothing because I've been standing strong with my boundaries. We have to move all of our patio stuff away. We have to get, and I have a lot of patio furniture and everything in the little storage in our apartment. We have to get out within three days because they're redoing our patios it's going to be very nice and we 
we have to do that. And my friends, of course, want to come visit me because I live in fabulous Huntington Beach. Well, I mm-hmm. said, no, that's not going to work. Right. And I did not right. give any explanation because I am so tired of explaining myself. It's not going to work, period. And they got all mad and said, well, I'll never ask <laughs> you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that, that's sad. That's sad. So, um, and, and I'm talking you about it because have... this friend who can, says that I'm her best friend never even listens bothers to listen to my show, ever. So, well, what kind of friend that is that? One. Exactly, yeah. never. But I'm supposed to like every show that she's doing. Anyway, I want to hear <laughs> what weird. you say about that. I want to hear what Dale says about it, what she's feeling, because that is bothering she's me. A, and actually, that's why I got a my friend and forgot to call it. Barbara, she's Seems not like a friend. She's just she, into she's herself. She's not a true friend. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I my voice is cracking. She's not a true friend. Because if she was, she'd be listening. Yeah. No, she says she is, but she isn't. No, she she never says she's listening. She tried to, she would roll her eyes and say, you're doing the show again. And another friend did that. And another friend did that. The first year I was doing a show every day, seven days a week. And they didn't like it because, uh, well, they didn't have a show for one thing. And another thing, it took away their time from me. So, they would always go, oh, not the show again. Oh, my God, the show, the show. It's always the show. Yeah, I do it every day. And if you don't like it, too bad. I am busy well, from 5 to 6 every day. Sorry if they don't like it. My gosh. And the only person who didn't say that around me is my nice daughter. She always encouraged me. She's wonderful, your daughter. Thank you. Mm-hmm. She Thank really you. is. Yeah, she's a little she doll. Is. She's a little doll. So, she's so uh, sweet. Johnny, do we have any phone calls? You want to? We sure talk do. About? This is area code two five six. You are live on the air with Psychic Dale Shear. Hi, how are you? My name is Hello. Kimberly. Your name is a what? I said my name is Kimberly from Georgia. How are y'all? Hi, Kimberly Hello. from Georgia. Great. How you doing? I'm well. How are y'all? Fine. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with the southern accent. We all is doing. We all is doing just fine. Fine. You're all good. <laughs> How can I help you, darling? Yeah, I was just uh, wondering what what you see for me in reference to um, obtaining a job soon. I'm looking for a new job. What type of work do you do, darling? Um, I have transitioned from teaching to instructional design. Instructional design is a career where uh, a person creates courses and e-learning for companies and colleges. Oh, wow. How exciting. Uh, Is there a big call for that? Yes, it is. Well, all you have to do is apply and get your um, resume out there and you'll be hired right away. Okay. That's what I see. Okay. But one of the jobs will be connected with travel, so I don't know if you'd want to do that. Okay. And the other would be just normal. All right. But I do see you okay. making a lot of money. Why would you teach? Uh, why would you give up teaching, though? Um, I've been I've been teaching for 19 years. And this last year was uh, very distressful um, because yeah. there was no support and too too much politics. And there was no accountability for students. And I couldn't... That makes sense. Our... Again? That makes sense. Yeah. Plus all the weird things that are happening in the school. So I totally understand. Yeah. So, yeah, the new job's mm-hmm. going to be good. And it'll be connected with a big company, and they're going to want to hire you right away on the spot, like yesterday. So it'll be fun. Okay. So go for it, sweetie. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Now, um, 
Do you want to go into the next one? Yeah. Okay. Area code 208. You are live on the air with Psychic Dale Shear. Well, hello there. Hi. Who's here? Oh. Hi. This is Crystal. Nice to meet you, Dale. Hi, Crystal. Nice to meet you. Where are you calling from? Uh, Niceville. Where? Niceville, Florida. Oh, Florida. Okay. Never heard yeah, of that. Yeah, I'm... Okay. Oh, it's the cutest well, little town in the world. Well, you people in Florida, are, you're very lucky because we're going through a heat wave here in Nevada. Where are you so, at? Uh, Lake Tahoe and, okay. um, you know, down in Gardnerville. So it's rough. It's hot. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah, very hot. How can well, I help you? We just got a ton of rain today. Um, I guess I would like to know what I can expect in my love life. What can I expect from or well, am I going you've to had someone? You've had a lot of good suitors, and, you know, you're real fussy, and you'll check the nails, you'll check everything to make sure including the bank account, to make sure that they're okay. All right? Okay. Okay. And and uh, you have one coming in by a friend that will connect you, and but you're fussy. That's a problem. So that worries me on how fussy you are. Well, and you're not wrong giving there. Some, Yeah, giving someone a chance is fine, but... You have like 10 things in your head, and if one of those things click off, you're not interested. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That sounds, I do. Yeah, that sounds accurate. You're, you're well, I'm not, the same um, way. So, I, I mean, I have to, I, in order to like somebody, I have like a, a list of things, and uh, mm-hmm. if it doesn't click, then I'm not interested, and you're the same way. Okay. So but your advice you will meet to, me then? Yeah, you okay. will meet somebody. And it's okay. through a friend. And you have a lot in common. Uh, what's with golfing? What's, what, what? what? What about golfing? I'm not a golfer. Oh, you're not. Okay. No. Why no. do I pick up that he is a golfer? The guy that I see you with may be a golfer. Okay. 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 But that's a, something you can learn. It's no big thing. Yeah, I'll hang out with and, a golfer. Pardon me. I said I'll hang out with a golfer. I won't hold that against him. <laughs> 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 what do you want in a man? What are you looking for? Oh, you know everything. Most importantly, mm-hmm. uh, kindness, honesty. Great in bed. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> there's a little joke there. Not really. Uh, I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Kindness, honesty, loyalty, um, funny, spirited, you know, somebody who's got a sense of humor, witty, intelligent. They've got to have a brain. I don't feel you're asking too much. Yeah. I feel no, like right? You're, right, you're right in the ballpark. I would ask okay. for those same things. I like someone highly intelligent. Yeah. So, you know, you are going to find what you're looking for. I pick up the name of Brent, Brett, or something like that. Okay. And uh, I also pick up a name of John, so somebody that you will like a lot. Okay. Good to know. Okay. No. All right. Okay. Well, thank you yeah. so much. I really appreciate it. Well, okay, honey. Mm-hmm. You I'm have a good one. More. If, more. if you've got more to tell me, I'm I'm willing to listen. Who? <laughs> Crystal? Yeah. No, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, okay. okay. I can't do a full reading because you'd have to call me for a private consultation okay. at my number at 808-372- one eight one six. One eight one six. Okay, well thank you so much, Dale. I so much appreciate this. And uh say hi to Johnny for me. Thank you. Hi. To who? Hi. 
Oh, hi, Jenny. Sorry. Okay. 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 All, All right. right. Well, I'm going to hop off now. You bet. Take care, Johnny. Bye, Dale. Thank you. Bye. Uh, Barbara? Barbara? Yeah. Hello? When she said that just gave stop. me. That gave me. I know. That's nice. Uh, that gave me an idea, though, to just get back into I love golf, and I want to golf. So now. do I. <laughs> a golfman? No, they don't call him that. But, yeah, a golfer. And you do too, Dale? Yep. I love golf. But because, oh, I know what, <clears throat> I had a cortisone on my left knee, which is make it made it feel a lot better, but my blood sugar went up, but I'm dealing with that. And then I have to get it on my right knee. So once I get it going, I should be all right. And then that's the play. Yeah, I was just thinking that, too, like, like, well, is my shoulder okay to play golf right now? Should I let it heal a little more? You know, we have our aches and pains and our things we deal with that we have to be even more careful as time goes on, don't we? Yes, the Mm -hmm. older we get, the worse it gets. (laughs) Yes. Yes. (laughs) Except for Richard. I had that costochondritis. Costochondritis I had. Oh. Here we go again. I don't understand what that is. But well, it's just the lining of the around the muscles around the ribs close to the lungs, so it's hard to breathe, and it feels like a stabbing pain every time you're breathing or moving. And I had that again, and I had it three years ago, and it's from an old injury from dancing. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't have mm-hmm. any of those. I have just like I can't use my knees real well because of uh, the arthritis, mm-hmm. but... I'm trying to figure out a way to get knee surgery. So, you know, my doctor is saying hold off as long as I can. Well, I'm going to get a surgery. I talked to a couple surgeons today because I had that traumatic fall on the stairs and which hit one of my implants really hard, right? Smack dab across the implant. And the doctor was worried that it was, well, he saw internal bleeding, but it was not popped. And he was worried, though, because internal bleeding can cause scar tissue, and it has. And, you know, I don't want to brag, but I had some a good pair of boobs, okay? And everybody said that. Well, one has capsular contracture, which is scar tissue under Neat and it deforms the breast. Oh, so uh, is oh, that's bad. So is it one that's lower than the other? Well, yes, it it tightens the scar tissue, tightens it. So on anybody, it could be higher or lower. But normally, it does rise up. It goes higher. And, Wait, while you're uh, at it, let jo- let Johnny give his phone number out, please. Okay, uh, yeah, Johnny. Yeah. Uh, the phone number is is five one six five three one nine eight seven four. Okay, Johnny. Uh, for tell me it's for a free reading, Johnny. Oh yeah, yeah. it is for a free reading. It's for a free reading. Yes. Okay. Okay, so Barbara, when did you fall? I fell three years ago down a staircase head first, did a flip, and then fell off the side because they didn't have a railing. It was my friend's house in Mexico. I was sleeping. I got up in the middle of the night, I guess. I stepped the wrong way because I don't even remember. So I must have. it must have been really dark, and I went down the hallway wrong. And he thought I was dead. The doctor could not believe I even survived that. That took a long time to recover from, and I'll never be the same. I mean, I have aches and pains that are just uh, horrible. But I've been living with this getting worse for one year. It's been three years since the accident. I couldn't believe that it was starting to change my boob. You can't tell in clothes, but you can tell nude. So, you know, a woman doesn't want to live with that forever. My guy friend offered out of the blue, called me up and said, I want to take care of that for you. Because it's like $8,500. Oh. Yeah. So I was so happy. 
I was so happy I got that phone call a couple of days ago, and I've been calling surgeons. There's some amazing surgeons down here in Orange County, and this is such a common thing that happens. So I'm not worried anymore. I didn't know it was so common that they're so used to fixing it. I was worried that it wasn't. They weren't going to be able to fix me, and that was not a good thought. Well, I don't know how I feel about that. Because really? the liquid the liquid leaks out and that causes a scar tissue. But it can also cause other things and I don't know how they would fix that. My liquid did not leak out and most people's oh. liquids do not leak out. That is oh, not okay. the issue. And that usually is not a problem with people. I I mean, these implants, you could throw them across the room and stamp on them, and they won't pop. You know, I've seen okay. that the tests done on them. It's so what, because they, what the is the issue? Because the bacteria. My issue is that mine was traumatized <laughs> in an accident. It had internal bleeding with blood. My body bled hmm. around it, which that causes scar tissue. That's what happened to me. Mine were fine for 13 years, and then this happened, and... That's what happened. Well, to how, me would, from how would the they fix it? How would they fix it? Well, they just go. They go in and they take out that implant. They might replace it with another one, but they take it out and they scrape out the scar tissue, and then they put oh. it back in. And a lot of people got this because their their uh, body was contaminated from the. The surgery. So right away afterwards, they would get hardened boobs, capsular contracture, it's called. They would get it right away. So nowadays, since they figured that out, they have a six-month time where you have to be on on medication afterwards to make sure that doesn't happen. Wow. So you'd yeah. be laid up for how long? No, you just are laid up for a few days. You know, the incision okay. is easy yes it's it's not that big of a deal to have it oh, through good. the nipple oh good i did it through the armpit the first time oh my gosh that was the most pain i thought a grenade went off in my chest <laughs> oh god that was really bad <laughs> uh, wow the guys are kind of well, quiet I, right now Dale. When, <laughs> when do you plan on getting it well believe it or not i had to wait till august mid-august to even have the consultation because they're so booked. So after that, sometime after August, which is fine because we have to move again, not just the patio, but I have to move again my whole self. We have to take enough stuff for 10 weeks, you guys, my, my daughter and I, to a, an apartment within the complex because they're redoing a lot of our apartments outside and inside, wow. which is great. Yes, and so we, I mean, I'm thinking, hey, Priscilla, my daughter, it's going to get cold. We've got to think about winter. We're going to be there till the beginning of November, if you really think about it. August oh, 21st, you wow. guys. August 22nd, I have to do this. And August 21st is my birthday. August 22nd, I have to deal with this whole move. <laughs> wow. So where wow. where are you moving to? She's An apartment within the complex. Is this a bigger they're apartment? Give you, they're going to give you an apartment? While they redo my apartment, they move you into a furnished apartment, they pay for all the utilities, and then when they're done, you move back into your nice, beautiful apartment that's been redone. Barbara, is this a bigger apartment than the one you have? The one that we're temporarily going to stay in for 10 weeks? I don't know. Probably not. It, pro it probably is the same size, I, I would guess. Why do you ask that, Johnny? No, just just curious. Okay. Oh, because he wants to go and be with you. Well, so he's not ever staying figured... in my apartment, and I told him that. He's staying at a motel like everybody else. No, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. Okay. I can't have a man have in my apartment call? with my daughter. Okay. Do we have another call, Johnny? Y yes, we do. Uh, area code 919 you were live on the air with Psychic Dale Shear. Hello, this is Kay. Thank you so much for taking the call. Hi, Kay. Where are you calling from? Hi. I'm calling from Georgia. Yeah, okay. Mm. 
We have a lot of Southern girls calling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all have never so been. <laughs> uh, the furthest I've been south is North Carolina, and I don't even know if that's south. It is. That's my home state. I, I moved to Georgia uh, some years ago, but yes, the 919 is North Carolina, so that's my home. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Have you heard of the Devotion, mm-hmm. North Carolina? What's the name of it again? Devotion. Devotion. No, I've never heard of that. That's where I stayed, on the R.J. Reynolds Ranch. Is it uh, on the east, toward the water or toward the mountains? Toward the mountains. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I, I live closer to the coast, and uh, I'm, I went to the mountains sometimes, but not often. Okay. How can I help you, sweetie? Okay. Um, I have a storm between two questions, but I want to ask about relationships. I um, I met this young lady, and we have been talking for um, a few weeks now. Um, the, the quick short version of it is, is this worth the effort? I mean, it, do you see this going anywhere or just remaining friends? You mean the girl in you? Yes. Mm. No, I see it going somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. okay. She's very yeah. nice. Very nice. Yes. Very good girl. And um, you yeah. have a lot in common. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So I would okay. I would definitely pursue it. Okay. All right. Anyway, All right. You can. that's what I need to know. Okay. Yeah. I, I just didn't want to think that, well, one, I didn't want to waste anyone's time, including mine, but two, I don't want to walk away too soon. <laughs> well, I don't think that there's a problem with either of that. I feel that she's very nice, she's a good person, okay. and yeah. it's going to work itself out. Okay, okay, well, that's good to know. All righty, right. well, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I told you I keep it very simple. <laughs> Johnny, was there anything else? Uh, nothing else. Did, did you want to go to the next caller? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is area code 860. You are live on the air with Psychic Dale Shear. Hello? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, this is Lisa. I had called in about my little dog that uh, is a puppy. Oh. She's 19 months now that we've, she's been so sick. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that call. How's she doing? Well, she was doing a little better, but we seem to have gone backwards. We are. Um, she went back to having colitis about three weeks ago, and since then she's been very lethargic and not wanting to do anything at all, including she doesn't want to eat. I have to try 15 different things to get her to eat a little bit. So we're going to an intern. Yeah, I felt very bad after talking to you. I really feel that you've got to find some vet somewhere that can handle the situation somehow. And uh, I love it. I love animals so much that this hurts me uh, tremendously to hear of this happening. And there's very little I can do for you unless, Johnny, weren't you supposed to take care of her? Yeah, let me tell you what we've done. This will be part of the update. We have uh, contacted some of Barbara's friends, uh, Tyler and John. Uh, we we tried to contact Dr. Lynn, but we weren't able to get a hold of her. Uh, I gave her the number of Tyler and John, who's a dog groomer, and, um, and to see if she could you know, offer any assistance. Uh, there was a period where I think they chatted back and forth, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So we we have reached out to some people that might be able to help her out. Well, thank you. We got to get a hold of Audra Lynn. She has the dog shampoo for all allergic dogs. I thought that you did. I don't her. think that's I'm a so problem. Sorry. Yeah. That's not I a problem. I don't feel that's a problem. No. She needs a regular vet that knows his stuff. And um, where do you live? What area? Connecticut. I've been to 11 different vets. Mm. And wow. I understand. Mm. There's got to be someone that can find something. 
Did you change her diet at all? I, I have changed her diet only because she we found out everything she was allergic to, and that stopped the vomiting. Uh, there's a doctor in New Jersey, uh, Odette Souter, who I've been trying to get into, but she isn't taking any new patients. But I'm still pleading my case with her, trying to get her to take her, because she can do keep a Keep pleading virtual. your case. She, she keep pleading your case. She she will let you in. Oh, thank you. That's good news. I will keep begging. I have no shame when it Just, comes to saving a puppy. <laughs> that's true. So I would definitely say to keep pleading your case because that doctor will be able to help you. I don't care if you have to stand out the door in in New Jersey right in front of her and just beg. That's hard. She's a couple states away, but I'm going to keep begging. Otherwise, I would just walk in. I seriously would. Well, it doesn't mean you can't do it. Well, she's a couple states away, so it would mean a, a lot of money and travel and to get sent away would be hard. So I will keep trying Yeah, online. but she's the one that she's... Now, does she have... Some, can you ask in the office if she has someone that can, just as good as her, that can help? No, she doesn't. I tried that. Thank you. Well, keep trying, because you are going to get... that. This lady's going to help you, okay? Okay. Can I ask a simple question? Oh, sure. I think it's sorry, but uh, they're looking at me for um, thyroid cancer. Is there cancer there? What? They're looking at me for thyroid cancer. Oh, well. First of all, thyroid cancer is the easiest cancer to cure. Yep. Uh, it's one of the the easiest. They just give you a cocktail and it's done with. Uh, who said that you had the cancer? There, uh, I had fell, fallen down the stairs and they saw something on the thyroid when they did the CAT scan for my back and side. For thyroid. They caught uh, the thyroid in the CAT scan for the back. Right. I don't understand. What about the back? I fell down the stairs, so when they did a CAT scan, they saw the thyroid in it and said there's a problem. Well, that's an easy cancer to cure if it was cancer. I'm not so sure it is. I'm not a doctor, but I can say I don't really see anything at this point, but I want to say it is an easy cancer to cure. Okay, thank you. I mean, all they do is they give you a cocktail and whatever it is, it's done. Thank you very much. Okay? All right, thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Good. Please keep trying on this woman. Call her day and night, night and day. Okay. Oh, I found okay. that dog shampoo. In the meantime, though, if you want to uh, use it for your dog because it's so allergic, it's called Famous Skin Care for Dogs. That's Audra Lynn's company. Maybe Johnny was trying to contact Audra Lynn, and I couldn't remember the, the name of the company. So it's called Famous Skin Care for Dogs, which they have a website or famous skincarefordogs.com, okay? Oh, good. So please do, because you know what? She had the same problem with an uh, animal that just wasn't, nothing was working. And she sat up in bed in the middle of night of the night one night and said, I got it, I got it. And she had this, the ingredients and everything in her head, like she's been around animals her whole life, and, you know, she shows dogs. And she, she made this shampoo, formulated it. She's made a killing. It is so successful. We had our Wonderful. Show. It, yeah. So okay. Please, and thank you for coming back on and talking to us about this. Thank you, darling. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. We say prayers for you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, so Dale. Much. Dale. Dale. That what? reminds me. They didn't say I have cancer, but uh, I did get. I got my, not mammogram, but you know how that you get your pap smear and they feel your boobs or your breasts? Okay. They just feel them. She thinks she felt a lump. So now next week I'm going to the MRI oh. and I'm going to get all that done. And I don't feel it. I'm not feeling it, but I'm going to do that. So what do you feel? Mm. There's something there that needs yeah. to be fixed. And it could be, okay. is it the same breast that, 
you had the lump or that thing where you no. fell? No. Different one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's something there. I had a very small breast cancer. I mean, it was so small. I found it myself under a mammogram. Yeah. And uh, I refused to get anesthesia, and my OBGYN mm-hmm. sent me to a surgeon, and for two hours, mm-hmm. they just cut out all the stuff that they needed to cut out, not the breast, just the, the there was no lump, they just, you know, cut it out, and um, then I went under radiation for 30 days, and I was fine. I've been fine for five years, thank God. Okay, so good. whatever it is, nowadays, they can fix a lot of things. Yeah, that's so great. Thank you. That oh, I know so what good. I forgot to tell I'm you. Ask. Yeah. I went and saw the movie Elvis yesterday. Oh, how was it? I thought it was quite interesting. It was a documentary, and the guy who plays him is incredible. He studied oh. Elvis for a year or two, and he can sing like him. He can do guitar like him. He it, it shows what Elvis went through with Colonel Parker, and it was really I thought it was excellent. I think he oh, should win an Academy Award. Wait. I really can't wait to see that. I saw the ads and I saw the picture of the guy, and I thought, wow, he does look like him. And I'm glad to hear that he was really good too. He was beyond good. He was awesome. And uh, the thing is, though, when he's through being Elvis. He's blonde. He has blonde hair and <laughs> normally. It's kind of, oh my god. Kind of weird, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> but wow. Lisa Marie and everybody else says that they're saying that um it's a best rendition and Elvis would have been proud. I just oh, don't good. know how he's going to play. I don't know how he's going to play any other role. Hmm. I'm going to have to take a look at him. I don't know who this actor is. I'm going to have to check oh, this out. New. He's awesome This is probably going to make him really put him on the, back, on the map, this part, isn't it? I don't know, because he's so good at playing Elvis that you don't know. He was supposed to be in Top Gun, but I guess they turned him down. But the man studied um, Elvis for two years and everything about him. And can you imagine he can sing like him? No. But a guy played Johnny Cash really well. Joaquin Phoenix, I think his name was. I thought he did a great job. And But he was already famous. And he sang like him, too. It is strange. It he is strange. like Johnny Cash. Uh, okay, I wanted to go back to your breath for a moment. Uh Okay. This is something that they saw on x-ray or what? No, she said she felt it. After they do your pap smear, they just fill your breast. They examine yeah. with their fingers. That's all. Okay. I haven't done the MRI or the mammogram yet. That I made appointments today for that. When are you going? There is such a long wait for the mammogram, but so I'm doing the MRI before the mammogram. It seems like the MRI would show everything, but that is MRI is a couple weeks, and the other thing is, and they are sending me to another thing for the breasts. They don't mess around. They don't mess around with breast oh. cancer, do they? I no. I had it done right away. Everything so. Uh, I don't hmm. know why you're having such a hard time. You got to come to Nevada. Everything is it's like pretty much wide mm-hmm. open here. I don't you know. know. But, she says uh, they're very busy. It is something very busy. that you should you shouldn't play around with. You need to get taken care of right away. Well, yeah. And then I want to do the plastic surgery to fix the left breast. So I want to make sure I'm healthy for this because sometimes they <laughs> like to do both breasts. I want to get both redone because. I don't want them to be different. I want them to be the same. Well, that makes sense, but you don't want to have cancer in your breast, so, because that can spread. No, so but you I don't got want... the appointment. I mean, I got the first available appointment. I, I can only do what I can do. That's true. No, you'll be fine. In Nevada, they do everything right away. I don't know what's up with uh, California. I don't know. I don't know. And then I my pap smear. Then they called a few days later. 
that is abnormal. So now I have to go oh, get Jesus. a biopsy of my cervix, and that is no fun. I had that like 30 years ago, and that is definitely well, not a fun Well, I don't feature. know about that. I had a pap smear not too long ago, and, you know, when it is that way, that usually is nothing. So are you I losing any weight? Temple. No, I saw what? the utensil from my last time I had the colposcopy, and it's a long, huge, long rod, and at the end it has little serrated edges, and they go up and they take a chunk of your cervix out, and you feel it. Oh. it it's not painful, but you do feel this. Ugh. Okay, I had it before. I have to do this. I don't know why it's different. They say sometimes menopause, you know, makes it abnormal come back abnormal it could be nothing once in a while it is abnormal every you know 10 no years menopause nothing. does not make it abnormal i've been through menopause for 20 years at one point no mm-hmm. no I don't so know why, just get it now, get it all taken care of and i think you'll be fine for everything thank you thank you i never worry because what does what good does that do well mm-hmm. Oh, you it know doesn't what? It's a do a lot with the collar no, you're that right. you help. Yes, the collar that it. you help. She fell down the stairs too, and then she was saying, "What did she have wrong with her?" It was something to do with mine. It was something she fell down the stairs. Now I can't even remember his saying. Remember, she fell down the stairs, and she had something wrong with her. What was she trying to? Asked you if she had cancer, right? Which one are you talking about? Which one are you talking about? The lady who wanted to know if she had cancer. It's the last one you thyroid. talked about. Oh, oh, oh. Thyroid oh, oh. cancer. Okay. Oh, thyroid, thyroid, thyroid. That's one of the like, easiest. Yeah. On a thyroid yeah. cancer, they have a yeah. Molotov cocktail that you drink, and it kills thyroid. You know, it can create other okay. problems, but it kills the thyroid, and the cancer goes away, so. hmm Okay, well, oh, this is what I was going to say. So they did a CT scan on me as well. My whole entire body, they scanned it when you have a fall like that. And the doctor said, this was three years ago, your lungs, your heart, your every organ, everything in your body is just fine, clear, perfect. You're in great health. I see a broken rib. That's it. No, oh, I, when she said she got the CT scan and they detected this thyroid problem, I thought, wow, I'm so healthy. And then three years later, here I've got a lump, I've got an abnormal pap smear. <laughs> you know, I feel like, oh, what happened in three years here to me? <laughs> um, I don't know. But I went through some stuff and they gave me a whole bunch of uh, tests and I'm fine. I mean, you know. They're going, we can't believe that you're this fine. And my A1C went from 13 to 71. I mean, they're like shocked, you know? Like, what wow. did you do to do this? And I well, said, I well, I sat down for a year. I sat in one position during COVID and just worked my butt off on my phone, and it was lucrative, but I didn't move around enough. I think I just was too down i wasn't my normal moving around exercising flowing person i wasn't so what does that have to do with anything well because you asked me what happened what did i do i thought you asked me what did you do differently in three years i thought you asked me that that's why no i don't think i did but that's okay okay johnny do we have another one uh not right now doesn't mean we won't but not right now okay well, you got to do more work, Johnny. I know. Well, we right. asked somebody that was, yeah. was waiting but left. But uh, we'll, I can give the uh, number again. It's uh, 516-531-9874 to call in for a free meeting. Okay. Yeah, but Dale, just... you've already done so many. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm so down. Um, just it's so hot here. And uh, I'm used to my house and looking out by the lake. And, you know, it's just, it's a bummer, you know. It's just really a bummer. It is um, when you're hot. Mm. Heat wave, huh? Yeah. Yeah, big time. 100, 102. 
it's going to be pretty hot. Oh, so my God. I guess I, ha- I have to go swimming in the pool tomorrow. You know, so it's it's bad. And You're then so lucky Richard, you have Richard. Well, mm. Richard always has his nose. He's watching, I don't know, weird shows on TV. I don't know what he's watching. Mm-hmm. Do you yeah. like scary shows that, do you like shows with violence in them? Me? I watched The Handmaid's no. Tale. I was addicted to it. It's on, what's the one that called, Hulu. Hulu. I watched it, binge watched that show, episode, 10 episodes. No, so I like so fun good. stuff. I, I like okay. I like good, fun stuff. Okay. I like happy stuff. Like I don't want to. You would. I am so sick of the news and all the garbage in it that, I mean, one minute Putnam is dying and he has cancer. Next minute he's going to bomb the hell out of us. You know, it's just so weird. It, everything is so weird. Yeah. So you yeah. try to stay positive with what you watch. Good. But you know what? There's, oh, it's showing today, 102 Saturday, 100. Sunday, oh Jesus! Um, and I, my poor doggy, I gotta, I'm not letting him out, you know, except to go out to make. But he wants to go with his daddy in the car, and he can't, and he's upset, and you know, whatever. It's you know what? Hot. His birthday, his two year old birthday, is July 18th. So I bought him cookies. I bought him all kind of birthday stuff to wear, a little hat, uh, and it says happy birthday, and a little scarf, and he looks as cute as can be, and today I let him uh, try one of his cookies. He loved it. He just loved Mm. it. How much does he eat, this German Shepherd Lucky? Does he eat a lot? lot. He he eats what we eat, but I mean, you know, he, he has his kibbles, but... He eats what we eat, you know, chicken and all that stuff. And he, yeah. he, he he's doing good. He doesn't eat a whole lot. Hmm. I just know, thought the big bad. dogs eat lots. Oh, good, because I always thought the bigger the dog, the more that they eat so much. But mm. that's good. I'm not getting a dog now, you guys, until I get a yard. I just, I can't do it. I can't get up and down, up and down, and walk a dog so many times a day. Unless it can go in and out by itself, I don't want to do it. I don't blame you. I don't blame and you. You've got to get yourself all all together and feeling good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I sure do. And that's and I want to hear all the moving. Mm-hmm. I want to hear what happens to you after all this. Yeah, I normally I mean, what... I'm not so outgoing with my private medical issues, but I think why not? <laughs> because maybe it could help somebody else, you know, who is having something wrong and afraid to go. You got to go. You got to go. It's hard to go. You got to go. Yeah. Mhm. You got to yeah, go. Yeah, I've been Health I've been ha- I have friends. Important. I have friends that won't go to the doctor for anything, you know? And I'm going, boy, are you making a mistake? They've come out with some new medications. They look, my all my blood tests went from cholesterol, LDL, HDL, down to normal. I mean, they were up in the 300s. They went to normal through medication. Oh, so I'm not yeah. giving that up. No, Lorenzo's dad, Fernando Lamas, he never went, and he had stomach aches so bad for so long, and he never went to the doctor. Well, he had stomach cancer and he died. And if they, if they mm-hmm. would have caught that early, if he would have just gone in when he had that terrible stomach ache, he would still probably be alive today. Not uh, really. And stomach cancer, it's no, it's six months and you're gone. Would, would, you, dad, but, would you like to take a call? What? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Area code 856. You are live on the air with Psychic Dale Shear. Hi, how are you? Hi, who's this? Where's Maria? Yeah, Maria, how can I help you? Where are you calling from? Uh, Jersey. At the yeah, moment. we've talked to you a lot of times. What can I do for you? Uh, whatever's coming up in my what? next week or so. Well, I can't do that. I would need more specific 
either traveling or newer jobs this week, if it's coming oh. in. I see a newer job. Definitely right. see a newer job. And you will All be right. traveling as well. Okay? All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Johnny. Johnny, was there anything else? Yes, there's an, there's one more person. Do you want to put them through? or? Yeah, go ahead. 775, you were live on the air with Psyche Dale Shear. That's Hi. Uh, Dale, my name is Wendy from California. And uh-huh. um, I've been paying on a long-term care policy for 20 years. And I'm not well. I need help at home. I have plenty of diagnoses and Kaiser Permanente records to support me. Um, Jane was my first claims rep, but I decided immediately I needed to make a change, and now I have Tina. Um, Will I get approved? It's it's an indemnity plan, and they're not excited about it. I don't know what indemnity, but I want to ask, where are you calling from? Sacramento, California. Okay. What I don't understand what you're asking me, sweetheart. Okay. Well, that's I'm okay. Confused. It's all right. It's all right. God bless you. God love you. Have a nice evening. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. All right. Barbara, yeah. why don't you do a shout out? Okay. Well, thank you, everybody, for listening and all the callers for calling in. We love hearing back from you to hear how Dale's advice turned out for you. So many great callers today. So thank you. And if you want more time, Dale is available all week so you can have your own private long reading for a fee. Her direct number is 808 372 one eight one six. That's eight zero eight three seven two one eight one six. Dalesheer dot com. Call her, text her, and email her. Get your appointment with her. It works. It helps. And visit us on social media everywhere. We have Life Laughter Happiness Facebook page, uh, group everywhere. Twitter, Instagram. Please come and say well, hi, Barbara. Barbara. Yeah. That's are we it. going to do so? Are we going to do something on Facebook with Johnny, like a show? I don't know. I we're mean, going. I, I think, we're. But uh, we are going to find when I get my my uh, patio situated. They're redoing it. I'm going to have my studio here. Okay, and we're going to go on camera so people can see our face. And if you want to choose Facebook, I think that's a good way to go because I have almost a hundred thousand followers you guys on my Facebook. Okay yes I I do choose Facebook okay okay awesome we'll reach a lot of people that way all right okay thank you guys you know what Richard I've been thinking a lot about lighthouses they keep coming everywhere I look there's a lighthouse and I remember what you said about lighthouses hint 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 what did I say and (laughs) <laughs> and thank you, Johnny, for everything, and a special mm-hmm. thanks to Dale Shear for her wonderful psychic power, psychic ability. We are blessed to have you, Psychic Dale Shear. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Every Friday, and thank everybody. you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah. Thank you, Barbara. I appreciate it. Have a good one. You're well. Aloha. Aloha. Okay. Uh, aloha. Good night, everyone.